This is absolutely a motorcycle I could just sit and stare at for quite a while. Obviously, I got this thing completed, clean, and it's back in the game. I really like how this thing look, man. The only change that was made that was different from the other setup is the windscreen. This one, this contour, this profile was a little bit cooler. If you remember, my other one was just round. It had a little flare on these edges here, but it was mostly round. And then the profile was more bulbous there, where this one is more flat. So it goes more with the look. Wife printed up some decals and logos that I wanted to add on here, and I'm at a few more. I got some OEM decal. There's obviously a certain look that I want with this motorcycle. I'm going into different year motorcycles, their decal batches, and I'm picking the ones, getting the ones that I want that I'm gonna apply to the bike. And I've done as such, I'm just waiting for everything to come in. These on the fairings, when they came, these were red. And I didn't want those in red. I wanted them in gray, cause that R1 is white. So just a few things that we touched up here and there. I'm just glad all of this is, is back sorted. I know it's like, didn't you do the same? Yeah, it, it looks identical, but it's just all brand new. So we back, baby, we back. Ready to ride yet? Nope, not yet, but the bike is back. And dude, check out like, everybody always suggests monster fairings and everything like that, but, but NT fairings is actually really good. Like, look at this fitment. This fitment is flawless. That is just legendarily flawless. It's like it's OEM. I mean, that's how everything is actually. I think we're ready. We'll try and ride the bike and go do like a back road or something because we do have a track day schedule that I'm trying to keep up. This weekend, I'm going out to do the cars and I wanna get back on the bikes very soon. So um, these two will be out at track next. And I just built two vlog helmet setups, one for myself. I got my Purple Panda lav mic in there and then the chin mount for the GoPro on the AGVs. Did the same thing with this one, but I didn't put all the mic stuff inside. This is the helmet for the R1. Um, this is now my new vlog helmet, but I have to replace this beat battered bruised piece of shit. Uh, we'll see what I replace it with. Probably, again, it'll be something out of like cycle gear, whatever they have in stock there. Jalen's helmet is a very similar setup, except for I've got his GoPro off the side right here. Uh, he's got his Bluetooth and everything, and um, same thing. Purple Panda lavalier mic in there, and I've got the same exact GoPro with the same exact setting and the same exact ND filter for both of the helmets. So when you see the footage now between myself and Jalen, the sound is the same and the picture is exactly the same. It's identical. Good morning, what's shaking with y'all? We are at Thunder Hill Raceway. Another track day with Speed SF. Got some students lined up behind me. This is our second session. Our first is just typically a warm up. Not that big of a deal. No need to really record or capture. I've got an intermediate driver in my group that um, is familiar with me and he tunes in the mic. And that's pretty sick. He got paired up with me, so that's dope. Um, hopefully we'll get some cool clips for you in here on this session. We're gonna go a little bit quicker. My ankle is still killing me. It's almost impossible for me to heel toe. It's super uncomfortable but that's nah, whatever. So the guy behind me is in a Mustang S197. Y'all know I got a lot of experience with that because my brother Jay got one. Um, played around with it quite a bit. So I want him to get used to the comfort that that car can provide, but just to know where he's at with it. And then I've got a Focus RS that seems to be pretty damn hooked up. And as you can see behind me, that Turbo FRS, that's our guy. He is familiar with the channel and Mike, and he's a fan of Mike, he's wearing some LZ merch. So he's pretty tapped into the culture. And that is my uh, run group. And I'm just showing them a nice conservative line, nothing aggressive. Just giving them some points and some spots. Last will be 
um, second. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So we leak from the last comes up behind me. gonna bring the wide body but of course man track car is just too damn good while i was on my way up here i saw joe over there at bay area drifting where i used to uh do some instruction at uh for drifting i'm gonna go down over there check them out say what's up maybe jump on their sim rig if there's no students on it and do some drifting on that so uh let's jump to that hey how's the initial bite on these rear tires they're pretty bald so they're just slippy but okay they're slippery okay all right cool This is the one they were already driving, so these rear tires and everything should be fucking grippy as hell. tired in the front more rear tire than the front it's cool yeah let me lead because when you try to get the angle it might go into so i don't want to get close and then all right just see how it goes i'm gonna just drive it how it feels all right Yeah, I got no front. <laughs>
he got. <laughs> That's all she's got. <laughs> One? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because they're starting to get warm, so it's gripping up. Been drifting like seven months. How'd it feel? Just get back out there, just slide around. It's fun, isn't it? Bicycle? Yeah. <laughs> it's miles for miles. Yeah, I love it. Huh? Okay. So about how much power does this make? Huh? About how much power does this uh, make? Uh, three fifty to the wheel. Oh, okay. And then uh, about 2,700 pounds, you have an estimate. Okay. How long have you had it? Five years. It's been boosted for three. So I've been at this power for a little bit, and I've kind of gotten used to it, like, on the streets. <laughs> yeah. You know? I can tune it up to, like, closer to four, my tuner said. Mm -hmm. But, uh, I don't know. Like, I'm kind of content, you know? Yeah, it's really not about how much power it can make um, totally versus what what you are able to use. Hi. Like. Here we go. Yeah, so pretty much what you can run on the street is is just your straight line. Yeah. You know. Are you on E85? Yeah, full E85 right now. Full E. Okay. Oh, okay. I see the gauge right here. Yes, sir. I think it's at E80 or 79 yep. right now. Mm-hmm. Do you um, keep stability control and stuff on? Uh, no. Traction and stuff. Yeah. Take all that off. Okay. And that's all off right now. Uh, yeah. Okay. Factory clutch? Uh, stage three. Stage three, okay. I've been doing it in third and fourth. Good. Um, and that's been working well for me. Yeah. Besides that hairpin, I kind of like, you'll feel like the third feel a little iffy, but. Yeah, it leaves you out of the <laughs> bobble of going to second and shifting multiple times and yeah. things like that, so. That was a good tip though. That helped me out a lot. What's up? That was a good tip. Rolling uh, in. Just stay in two gears? Yeah. Yeah. Really like <laughs> yeah. Way less work. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I want to make this car kind of like a track, like street, like kind of everything in one, you know? Not just strictly like, uh, mm -hmm. not strictly just track or strictly just drift. Kind of want like a mix of, I want like a perfect balance if that makes right. sense. You'll, you'll have it. You you just have the, you just have the, um, the bags just for. Yeah. So at first mm -hmm. I thought I was going to go just show. Gotcha. And then now that I have the bags, they've just been on because I'm like, I want, I want <laughs> Word. yeah, yeah, yeah. I want feel, but like, uh, I'm like at the same time, like I have to take this out and install feel and find a seller for this. You know? mm -hmm. It's just a little extra work, right? But eventually, if uh, if I keep continue doing track, then coil I'll probably go coils. Yeah, I was looking into feel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I have on um, both of my RX eights. I have feel four four one Rs. Yeah, that's what that's exactly what the guy recommended me. Mm -hmm. It was like the drift kind of spec because I can do like pretty much everything. Mm -hmm. How far does this rev? Seven thousand. Okay. Get a feel for your brakes.
get on throttle early just to load it. Yeah. And then this is the corner where we want that speed from. So you just get on throttle. And then our braking zone will be right after this. Back on throttle. Maybe downshift if you like, it's up to you. Yeah. But get right on this. Now, we're gonna watch the blend line. Say what? Yeah. This is a badass fucking car, dude. This is point by, right? Yeah. Give me the point, dude. Yeah, I would just take this pass if we were in another group. <laughs> in the mirrors. <laughs> um, so the way your power is, like right here, I can go flat out. Yeah. No wheel spin. That's really good. That's a very good power level. Thank you. at us let us buy what brakes do you have on here uh, oh good deal
I would have break him, but it is your shit. I don't want to play like that in your shit. I said, I said, fuck it, bro. Just don't hit a wall and I'm good. No, no, no. We're gonna, we're gonna get some space. We're gonna pull into the hot pit and let them go. Because people do shit like this. This is, this is how you don't try. You don't do that. If I'm sitting on your ass the whole time, I can clearly go faster. All you want to do is try to flex that straight away. You're doing it wrong because he's looking in his mirror and he's not even getting the corner. He's not getting the best out of the corner. Yeah. So he's actually fucking up his track time, our track time, everybody behind us. We got a whole line behind us. Here, we'll go in the hot. Huh? Yeah, I'm surprised he hasn't got a flag yet. I don't understand why they have not, yeah. It's been like two laps already, two good laps. Two, absolutely. Like this kind of shit, he should be seeing that. We'll go through pits and we'll make space. So anytime you run into something like this, this is what you do. You can always take the hot pit. Yeah. Even if there's like people crowding you. Oh good, cool. Um, the, the focus is behind us. Yeah. Okay, so we got space now. The focus got off? No, no, he's coming out. That's what I'm waiting for. Oh, okay. All right, here we go. right there. There he is right there, right? Yep. Hey, we caught that fucking Civic again. Still being a Civic. This is a stellar car. If you, um, whenever you felt like it got rid of the bags. Yeah. <laughs> but, Bro, you'll be running a good fucking lap time around here. I mean, even with these tires on, right? Yeah. That's not a hindrance. You just drive up to what the tires can do. You know what I mean? Yeah. So 
Um, your brakes might need some ducting, and that's just aero. No, yeah, I was actually looking into that for my next model. Okay. Uh, brake ducts. Do um, some brake ducting so you can cool them off. Um, we weren't like really pushing the pace because we didn't want to get into the brakes any harder yeah. and probably not have them on on the corner. But as far as everything that goes with this car, how it is and what it is. This is fire. I like it. And I <laughs> came around a turn and you were gone. I was like, holy shit. Dude, this little thing is fun. And it's on airbags. So it's like, we're just like seeing how, how it rips. It rips, man. This little fucking thing rips. Ladies and gentlemen, the successful track day is now completed. We are gonna drive home, have a safe, nice, relaxing cruise. I'm gonna listen to some music, maybe watch a little bit of YouTube. The last session in the FRS was fire. And I'm gonna shoot the niggas with the Civic a little bit of bail. Uh, I noticed some stickers on their cars and they are some street racers, right? There's some street racers that I'm kind of familiar with. And that mentality that you saw, like I said, I'm gonna offer them a little bit of bail. That was just street racer mentality. Like, oh, I can beat you in a straight line. We tell you in the driver's meeting, if somebody runs down on your ass in a corner, you think you left them on the straightaway, and when you go to the next corner, they're on your ass, point them by and let them by. They're faster than you. What they were doing was what we told them not to do. That was a no-no. I'm on your ass, I could pass you I could pass you through any corner, inside or outside, and you're not leaving me on the straightaway. You're supposed to be giving me a point by. That's absolutely abhorrent, terrible etiquette. But, like I said, I'm shooting them some bail. There's some street racers. They may not be used to track days. This may be their first track day. So, I'm gonna let that slide. Um, it was a good experience overall. Plus, I got to show the guy that wanted me to drive, but, you know, this ain't what you do. This ain't how it's supposed to be done. Plus. When you got some people stubborn like that, you could just pull into the hot pits, make some space, and then go back out. So it's funny, we ended up catching their ass again, which is wild. So that was just what it was, but great day of driving. RX-8 did great. Back in the garage, I ain't jacking this weather one bit, yo. It's cloud shit. What disruptive bullshit is this, man? We just had amazing weather, now this. This will brighten up my day. We got a completed, clean ass R1. Windscreen looking fire, bike looking fire. Everything's ready to go. I'm happy, I'm hyped about it. Everything's good, man. Uh, yesterday was great. Ankle still a little bothersome. On the heel toes, it did hurt a little bit. And um, I just had the bike up on the stand and I was getting off in the position as if I'm getting my knees out and everything still really hurts to roll that angle so we are scheduled for laguna seca july 22nd and i'm just gonna have to fight through it because i'm already scheduled for it i'm already going all the homies are going so i'm going but man i'm really gonna have to baby this fucking thing until that day because we we really gotta <laughs> we really gotta figure this out man i'm hurt but we ready to roll. It was cool meeting up with dude there. Him letting me drive the car was a treat. That little thing was quick as hell. It, it really makes me want to, to grip this again. I did have a great time gripping this at that final battle event. So dude car was mad fun. It was really loose, uh, but you could find a comfort in loose because loose is technically fast. If you could find like the good balance and comfort on that line, you could really have a good way to flow through the track. So when I jump in the guy's FRS, it just seemed like this car. It seemed like a drift car. So I really would hope that most people would take that into account and take their tuned street cars out even if it's set for show. Dude was on airbags. He said he set his car up for show. How he ended up in my group and ended up in a track day was pure coincidence and serendipity. So that was really dope. I really liked that. That was that was something that I'd be trying to tell Mike to do, like bring those 
cars that you don't drive that that don't make money on the channel because they can't do outrageous freeway pulls bring them out with me to a track day and see what those cars can really do it doesn't matter if you think that it's not set up for something the problem is a lot of people think too much guys think too much about their cars they think it's fast they think it's slow they think it's set up properly they don't think it's set up properly you never know unless you actually go out there and really try to get to it i've proven that gripping a drift car i've proven that gripping a slow car against some fast cars now i've just gotten the chance to experience gripping a car on airbags with some normal everyday road tires and it was turboed it really wasn't supposed to do what we were doing but we were raging that little thing man that was a fun drive so that was cool that was inspiring i really did like that i kind of now want to take the vert out with this setup and and go grip that too let's just see what all the cars can do so with that in this cloudy ass bum ass weather i'm gonna finish cleaning this thing clean the wheels up get this thing immaculate showroom and then that's gonna be it for my weekend that's gonna be it for this vlog and i'm gonna catch y'all next week